good evening my dear students i am here with another very important video how to get 70 out of 70 in physics by studying only eight chapters pu1 physics strategy 2023 so already in the yesterday's class i have discussed about how to get 70 out of 70 in chemistry pu1 by studying only six chapters i have made a video if you have not seen that the link is given in the description first go through that and then come to this one guys and also i have made already important questions with answers for each chapters up to seven chapters I have completed so if you have not seen that video also videos are given in the link is given in the description please go through that and then come to this one guys yes so let us discuss what are the eight chapters we can study out of 16 chapters uh, we can study only eight chapters and get out of out see here so these are the eight chapters guys motion in a plane laws of motion work energy and power system of particles and rotation motion gravitation mechanical properties of fluid kinetic theory and waves why i am choosing these eight chapters only why because you see so just i will explain one chapter motion in a plane if i take one mcq question you will get from motion in a plane to one two mark question one three mark question and you know in physics five mark again that five mark is divided into two types what is that uh, roman number five and roman number six roman number five where you will get long answer type question there you have to answer three questions and roman number six you will get np what is np numerical problem so problematic part you will get and that problematic part may be arise from motion in a plane and work energy and power so that's why i chosen these chapters so if you take a laws of motion one mcq question one fill in the blank question one three mark question one long answer type question similarly work energy power one mcq one two mark one three mark and one long answer type system of particles one mcq one two mark one three mark and one numerical problem gravitation also one mcq one fill in the blank one two mark one long answer type mechanical properties one mcq one fill in the blank and one question for three mark kinetic theory one mcq one fill in the blanks one question for two mark a very small chapter is there waves one mcq one fill in the blank one three mark and one numerical problem so if you do these eight chapters only out of 16 chapters so you can cover see i have written in the total marks you will get there out of 15 mcqs you can able to answer eight mcqs and out of five fill in the blanks you can able to answer all the five fill in the blanks questions and out of five two mark questions you can able to answer all the five two mark questions uh, sorry all the five two mark questions and out of five three mark questions you have to answer and you are getting here six questions that means you can get one choice also from this chapter also you can leave one question choice then uh, long answer type question you have to answer three question all the three questions are there here and in numerical problem type also you have to answer two question here you are getting three question that means one more choice meaning is if you study only these eight chapters you can get out of out how see there see guys in part a again two parts are there roman number one mcq question roman number two uh, fill in the blank question right so in mcq you have to an, uh, answer 15 questions are given to you. you have to answer all the questions so if you do only eight chapter you can get eight mcq questions here and you can do only these eight chapters you can write all five fill in the blanks questions so if you take about part b you know part b meant for two mark questions and you have to answer five two mark questions and from these eight chapters you are getting five questions simple part c also part c is meant for three mark questions and there also you have to answer five three mark questions but here you are getting six questions that means you can study these only eight chapters and you can get out of out here so part d again part d is divided into two uh, two category roman number five and roman number six roman number five meant for long answer type long roman number six meant for numerical problem so long answer type you have to answer three questions all the three questions are provided by these eight chapters only a numerical problem you have to answer two questions so here you are getting three questions there so one more choice also there in within these eight chapters only meaning is so if you study only these eight chapters you can get out of out provided 
see there what is a note read all one mark questions from all the chapters this is very important guys why because you see the mcq questions remaining all category part b part c part d you can get all out of out but what about part a out of 15 question you can able to answer only eight questions meaning is you have to study the one mark question from the remaining chapters very important following my point i hope you got this point here so i hope you are studying well so do well guys so tomorrow i will upload regarding the mathematics and after mathematics i will go for the remaining uh, important questions from each chapters with answers so which chapter you want comment below guys this video is helpful to you just comment below thank you thanks for watching